The next problem on application is what is the maximum length of pole in horizontal position? What is the maximum length of pole in horizontal position can be taken through the passage as shown in figure. So this passage is typically a right angle passage. Width here is A, width here is B, and we are supposed to take a pole through this passage in a horizontal position. What is the maximum length of the pole that we need to find? So, I mean, it is in horizontal, you cannot make it vertical or something like that. It has to be taken in horizontal position. If it is too long, it will not pass through this. If it is too small, then we are not optimizing. We are supposed to optimize and find out what is the maximum length of pole. Okay. So what you need to do is the setup of the function which you want to optimize. In this case, it is going to be length function. Let us denote this point as P, let us call this point, suppose this is touching here, it is C and this is say Q. Okay. So the total length of the pole is C plus CQ. Okay. And let us say that this angle is theta. This angle also will be theta. So, how much is PC? This is a A upon PC is cos theta, right? A upon PC is cos theta. Therefore, PC is equal to A upon cos theta. So, A sec theta. How much is CQ? CQ is B upon CQ is sine theta. So B for say theta. So PC plus CQ is equal to A sec theta plus B for sec theta. That is what is your length function is equal to L of theta. Length of the pole depends on the angle theta. Therefore, independent variable is theta, dependent variable is L, B and A are constants. Now, this is from here it is easy. You should start doing it from here and find out what is the optimum maximum length that we can carry. I give you a couple of more minutes just to deal with the differential calculus part of this problem. Okay. So, this is what is your length function. Now you have to find out L dash of theta, which comes out to be equal to A sec theta tan theta minus B cosec theta cot theta. You have to equate it to zero, which will give you the critical point. Critical point. So, A sec theta tan theta is equal to B cosec theta cot theta. See it. Tan cube theta is equal to B by A. So, cube root of B by A, if we take tan inverse, that should be the value of now you will have to cross check by taking double derivative whether you are finding out the required quantity or you are getting exactly opposite. So if you evaluate a double dash of theta, the value that you will get because if you just take second derivative, let me write it a sec square square na, a sec theta tan square theta plus a sec cube theta 
plus b cosec theta cot square theta plus b cosec cube theta and you will observe that everything is positive so this is going to be great, greater than zero and hence the critical value of theta that you have found out is a local minimum local minimum that you are supposed to be finding out even if the wording set says maximum length local minimum because if you reduce the value of theta okay the pole length is going to grow like this okay if you further it if you increase the value of theta then also the pole length is going to grow like this so amongst all these long poles which won't pass through we are trying to find out the pole which is amongst these long poles what is the smallest size of pole which will barely pass i mean it is important that the pole touches this point c and you cannot if you make it smaller than that then you are not optimizing that is why this word maximum understand the first i mean statement of the problem you are starting with long pole and whatever we are looking at it is a stationary position of that pole and therefore our variable is theta so from long we are starting to reduce i mean it will just not pass through so we are reducing the length we are reducing the length reducing the length and therefore we are increasing this angle and at a specific angle which we have found out from this equation it is the it is the minimum length amongst this optimization however if you make it smaller than that then of course it will pass very easily without touching c also do you understand and therefore even if the wording of the problem says it is a maximum length of the pole you are minimizing the length by changing the theta value and therefore second derivative has to be positive and therefore whatever answer you will get is going to be correct answer you need not have to worry about it so after dealing with this your length a comes out to be l comes out to be a times you have to draw right angle triangle put this right angle triangle put this as cube root of b put this as cube root of a find out this length hypotenuse and therefore final answer of this problem is a raised to 2 by 3 plus b raised to 2 by 3 raised to 3 by 2 that is the length which is optimum any questions i'll give you the second problem next problem this was second problem of our applications of derivatives yesterday we saw one this is second question three Question three. Question three is our farmer problem. Which we saw in eighth standard in geometry. At position H, it's a house of the farmer. At position F, it is the farm of the farmer. And this is the river. So from house, he has to go to river, get the water and go to farm. So what is the minimum? So let us put this, let me give you the setup so that it is easy. Okay. This is the distance or the distance if measured along the river between the house and farm is D and 
from this point out of this d distance he has to move x distance from the left he go he goes here and from here goes back to here okay so what is the value of x what is the value of x he should choose so that h p plus p f is minimum h p plus p f is minimum now already you know the answer those who have solved this problem using geometry but i want you to use calculus now to solve this problem and check whether you get exactly same answer or not okay you can take distance of house from the river h and distance of the farm from river f the setup is something similar and you will be surprised that uh, geometrically we used to solve the problem and used to get the answer it is exactly same now uh, using pythagoras theorem we can find out hp hp is x square plus x square and pf is going to be f square plus d minus x bracket square so you are hp plus pf we call it suppose length with respect to x is equal to x square plus x square plus f square plus d minus x square this is what is your function if you differentiate and equate it to zero you get a critical point which is x is equal to h d upon h plus f at this point at this value of x you get derivative of this equal to zero horizontal tangent okay so in other words if you really is with fixed value of h fixed value of a fixed value of a d you will have uh, the value of x if you plot this length function it is going to be something like this with respect to different values of x and with this theory of differential calculus that we have defined we want that point where the tangent is horizontal that value of x happens to be this and therefore we differentiate it and equate it to zero so slope of tangent becomes zero that is the minimum point in this calculus if you put different values of x you will keep getting different values of y l ah ye to do minute ha b b dali kade आलो भी दोन मिनट ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट इज हैपनिंग एंड देयर फॉर यू गेट x इज इक्वल टू h d अपॉन h यू विल सी दैट वी हैव सॉल्व्ड दिस प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग रिफ्लेक्शन एंड द सिमिलरिटी वर्क्स एंड सिमिलरिटी आल्सो विल गिव यू x इज इक्वल टू h plus f that is the total i mean if you complete this triangle like this then this is d this is h plus f h plus f so x upon d is equal to h plus h upon h plus f that is what is this similarity x upon d is equal to h upon h plus f. however we are getting exactly the same result using differential theory now what i have asked you second part is optimize now another thing that you should do here is you should check whether second derivative 
is negative or not you need to have l double dash of x less than 0 that means you have minimized okay ne nee. l double dash of x must be greater than 0 positive that means you have minimized you need to check or you can carry out your first derivative this point to the left of this point it is negative slope of tangent is negative to the right of this point slope of tangent is positive therefore it is minimum okay you have to check minimum ness of your function by either second derivative test or first derivative test. now the second part of this problem which i am giving you is optimize hp minus pf okay Uh, those who have not done this, just give it a thought. I will come in two minutes, and we will discuss this. Okay, H P minus P F. If you try to optimize, you will get value of x is equal to H D upon. In this diagram, H is bigger than F, so H minus F. And in that case, what is that point? That point is basically you join these two points. And get this point over here. It is external division point. Similarity works there. So uh, this distance x from here to here uh, if you consider similarity, it will be bigger. H upon f, h upon f. Is equal to bigger upon smaller, so x upon x minus d. Is it correct? H upon f is equal to x upon x minus d, and if you simplify it, you get this. So it is difference of two sides, difference of two sides of the triangle. And in geometric proof. Basically, this is the point P, which is collinear. H P and F dash, which is the reflection of F in the river. F dash, they are collinear. And a triangle inequality for any other point P dash, you form a triangle H P dash F dash. And therefore, H P dash plus P dash F dash is always going to be greater than H P plus P F dash. But H P plus P F dash is equal to H P plus Pf that is what is the minimization. Okay, so this is something which is astonishing. The theory of differential calculus and optimization, first derivative test, second derivative test, is going to help us. See, this is one of a kind of problem which we can solve using geometry by reflection or something like that. However, this is more general theory. Whenever you want to apply. Uh, whenever you want to optimize, you apply this theory to find the critical points and solve your problem. Problem number four. Compare. So we are maximizing H P minus. P. This is maximum. This will be maximum. If you check second derivative, this this difference is going to be maximum. H P minus P F is maximum. When they are collinear, otherwise it will be always less. Again, triangle inequality. Second part of triangle inequality. Question four. Compare e raised to pi and pi raised to e. Who is bigger? Who is smaller? Come. Okay, in this problem, basically you are supposed to compare two values, e raised to pi and pi raised to e. So, how do you go about solving this problem, and what is the function? So, if you take e pi root of both of them, so e raised to pi raised to one upon e pi and pi raised to e. Raised to one upon e pi. Then what we will get is e raised to one upon e. We are supposed to compare e raised to one upon e and pi raised to one upon pi. Okay. 
comparing this is equivalent of equivalent to comparing this and both of these brackets when we are taking e pi through both the brackets are greater than 1 and therefore the inequality which will survive here will eventually survive here right so we are supposed to compare these two numbers and therefore we should take f of x as x raised to 1 upon x and optimize. Okay, so that may be the starting for you. Optimize f of x is equal to x raised to 1 upon x and find out whether you can get the answer for this problem or not. Okay, so f of x is equal to x raised to 1 upon x uh, is to be optimized. So first derivative of that f dash of x is equal to x raised to 1 upon x inside bracket 1 minus log x divided by x square. When we equate it to 0, now of course when we are defining f of x as x raised to 1 upon x, x is greater than 0 is assumed to be true. Then only this exponential function is defined. So this is no problem. This is this is also no problem. So 1 is equal to log x. So 1 is equal to log x, the base e. And therefore, x is equal to e, e is critical point. where the tangent is horizontal. Is that right? Yes. So, if you compare first derivative test, suppose if you apply, then if x is smaller than e, if x is smaller than e, x is smaller than e, then f dash becomes positive. If x is smaller than e, the dash of x is greater than 0. If x is greater than e, the dash of x is smaller than 0. So, the function that you have x raised to 1 upon x at e, suppose the function at e to the left of e the slope of tangent is positive, the right of E slope of tangent is negative and therefore at E this is supposed to be maximum. So at E if it is maximum implies E raised to 1 upon E is greater than pi raised to 1 upon pi because E is not equal to pi. Okay. And therefore, taking pi eth power of both of them, you get e raised to pi greater than pi raised to. That is how you are supposed to solve this. First derivative test become very handy. You need not have to go for second derivative. It is going to be complicated. First derivative, this is positive, this is positive. Only you have to look at the sign of log x. If x is less than e, it is negative, therefore it makes it positive. If the x is greater than e, then it continues to remain negative, greater than 1. Okay, next problem. Next problem. Any doubt, difficulty in these problems? I am jumping on to these derivatives directly, but you need to do it systematically, taking log, etc. I mean, it is f of x raised to g of x kind of a function. And if you want to differentiate, you have to take log of that, differentiate, and then so on. All those th steps need to be followed by doing this. But then, eventually, if you are equating it to zero, you are getting this. Sir, my friend, I have a hand method. I have a WhatsApp for part. I have a hand method. Okay. Next problem. Given a circle of radius capital R, Inscribe the triangle which has maximum area. Okay. 
okay suppose we fix the circle and we want to find out the area of triangle which is inscribed in the circle which is supposed to be maximum so it is an optimization problem maybe you are aware of the answer but answer is not important getting that answer through differential calculus is important so you set up whatever i mean the statement of the problem is very simple inscribe triangle which has maximum area in a given circle of radius capital it's just a english statement you are supposed to get into mathematics form of function and then optimize it get the answer okay in these optimization problems the most important thing is to get the setup done so that you have mathematical equation to optimize now we want to optimize area so area should be function of something which is only one quantity single variable calculus okay so maybe one way to go about it is draw diameter of course this is r and r 2r and then you make an angle theta here okay and exactly same angle you can make on the other side this is also theta and then you will end up getting one triangle like this some angle some triangle like this okay for different values of theta you will keep getting different triangles so can we write down area function with respect to theta and if we can do that then we can optimize सर पण या फंक्शन ने फक्त आयसोसेलेस ट्रायंगलचच कंसीडर होणार सगळे नाही ना सगळे नाही तर इथे आपण असं अजून करतोय की अमंगस्ट ऑल ट्रायंगल्स आयसोसेलेस ट्रायंगल इज गोइंग टू हैव मॅक्सिमम इज दैट व्हाट आई एम एज्युमिंग हियर सर इन दिस केस सर काय होईल की सर बेस कॉमन राहणार सर फॉर ऑल स्केलिंग ट्रायंगल्स द मॅक्सिमम हाईट पॉसिबल इज ओनली फॉर अन आयसोसेलेस ट्रायंगल सो दिस इज ऑलरेडी हाफ ऑप्टिमायझेशन डन यस सो यू डोंट वांट टू एक्सेप्ट दिस सर आई थिंक इट्स करेक्ट व्हाट Aditya has done something like this. This was X. And this was R. Okay. Hmm. Aditya, you buy that one. R and Y, see the love that is. Hmm. Again, there also you. Or diagram, brother. Huh? फिगर सर फॉर अ गिवन बे मैक्सिम हाइट इज फॉर आईसोसिल ना आई मीन वॉट देर ऑब्जेक्टिंग इज अमंगस्ट ऑल सपोज वी हैव फिक्स बेस अमंगस्ट ऑल द ट्राइंगल्स नाही आयसोसिलस विल हॅव मॅक्सिमम एरिया फॉर अ गिवन बेस आयसोसिलस विल हॅव मॅक्सिमम हाईट विल हॅव मॅक्सिमम हाईट अँड अ फिक्स एरिया ओके फॉर अ गिवन बेस अँड अ फिक्स एरिया आयसोसिलस विल हॅव अ मॅक्सिमम हाईट अँड देअरफॉर इफ फॉर अ फिक्स बेस डिफरेंट हाईट्स आयसोसिलस विल हॅव maximum height and hence maximum area so half the optimization is done that is what is their objection so how can we avoid it and get the full optimization let me think amongst all 
triangles of fixed base isosceles triangle within that circle will have maximum area if we i mean it is a true fact and if we assume it then amongst all isosceles triangles we are not fixing the base amongst all isosceles triangles which triangle has got a maximum area that is what we are trying to find out and optimize using differential and then we may end up getting equivalent so what can we write down the function if we assume that isosceles triangle is the maximum and area triangle in the given circle then what is the area function can we write down that is it coming 4r square sin theta cos cube theta check basically this is circle this is 2r this is theta and you are supposed to find out area of triangle okay so if this is theta and this is 2r then how will you get the area of this triangle this is required okay so let us find out this distance how much will this be this is going to be right angle triangle say a b d is going to be right angle triangle with ad as a 2r so ab is equal ab upon 2r is equal to cos theta so ab is equal to 2r cos theta okay so this side also ab it is isosceles therefore ac also equals ab so delta area of triangle we see half ab square sin 2 theta which is half into 2r cos theta bracket square into 2 sin theta cos theta right that makes it uh, 4 r square sin theta cos cube theta so this is correct this is the area now you have to optimize and you will end up getting value of theta equal to 30 or 150 after a dash equating it to zero what is the derivative a dash of theta do i have it with me yes 4 r inside bracket sin theta into 3 into cos square theta do i have it Four r square is constant sine three cos square theta minus uh, cos cube theta same three cos square theta into into minus sine theta. Remember, I know cos cube theta and no sine theta is a derivative. Plus cos fourth theta. That is what is the derivative, and we have to equate it to zero. Therefore, cos fourth theta is equal to three sine square theta cos square theta. And if we keep solving this, then we get cos theta. So cos square theta is zero. Zero is one value, which is minimum. Okay, so cos square, so tan square theta is equal to three. Is that right? And therefore, tan theta is equal to plus or minus root three. Therefore, theta is equal to pi by six or five pi by six. Remember. 
20 or so maximum area is at so you have to check your second derivative or first derivative test if you are whether you are getting it at pi by 6 or pi pi by 6 and report it so i think pi pi by 6 will work and hence triangle must be equivalent okay good A person in a boat A miles from the nearest point of the beach wishes to reach as quickly as possible at a point B miles from that point along the shore. Uh, let me make it clear. So, setup is like this. This is A. Man is here and this is short. And he has to reach, say, point. This is position B. This is position A. This A is B distance away from. Point C. Okay. So the setup is like this. This is C shore. So in C at point B, which is A, A distance from C, somebody is voting. And from here, he has to go here. So in a C, the problem is basically to, to which point on this seashore, say at distance A, you are supposed to, he should reach here by boat and then go running from here to here or go walking. That is the setup. So additional information given is the ratio of his rate of walking. to his rate of rowing each second part. What is the distance x that he should land? Find the distance x where he should land so 
so that the time required to reach A is minimum. Come on then. Problem statement is like this. Now you figure out how to go about it. I mean, it is not going to be a curve, it will be a straight line from here to here. Why should we go? It is a stationary water. Now, here to here, he will go, and then he will go running or walking. And the rate of walking to his rate of rowing is sig alpha. Okay, let us solve quickly. Let me explain how to go about it. B, let this point be P, BP is the distance which is equal to A square plus X square. Distance PA is B minus X. Correct? Now, his uh, walking speed upon the rowing speed is equal to second half. So, time, time for rowing is equal to distance BP upon uh, Distance BP is a square plus x square upon speed of rowing, and time for walking is equal to distance B minus x upon W, but W is R C R. The total time T as a function of x is equal to radical a square plus x square upon r plus b minus x upon r sec alpha. Okay, and the only variable in this is x. Therefore, you find out t dash of x, wait it to zero, get value of x. x comes out to be equal to a cot alpha and then you can check by finding out second derivative test and you find that this is greater than zero therefore time is minimum for this x and the answer is x is equal to a cot alpha, right? Now, I am avoiding finding first derivative and second derivative here is because you are supposed to do it and get the answers, okay? Shall I give you, I thought you will take a little more time for this problem, but you have done it very fast. Let me solve. Let me give you another problem which is relatively simple. Find the point on the curve. Y is equal to x cube minus 2x square minus x where tangents are parallel to 3x minus y plus 1 is equal to zero. This is purely application. Some cubic curve is given, 
simple problem find the two points x coordinate and y coordinate of those two points where if you happen to draw tangent it will be parallel to this very simple basically you should find out the slope y dash okay and the slope should be equal to 3 for what values of x you get slope equal to 3 find out those two values and find out corresponding y value so answer is 2 comma minus 2 minus 2 by 3 comma minus 14 by 20 these are the two points where if you happen to draw tangent, it will be parallel to this line. Easy. Okay. So we will solve few more problems on application maybe tomorrow morning. But that is where we are stopping for the day. Any questions?